Ah, hello and welcome to uh, the Sober Toaster Show. I had two cups of coffee earlier, and I was literally bursting with energy. And then I had to drive back to my apartment, and I think I kind of seeped all the energy out out of my cells and out through the window. And it, it's like my car was uh, it looked like somebody was hot boxing it, but with like electricity, you know. So it's only like the uh, the true believers that could have saw it. The true believers. But anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about. Um, We'll start it off, let's roll it off with, um, so this idea of brilliance, or this idea of um, when things come together perfectly, like they're perfectly orchestrated, you get more of a payoff from that, you get more satisfaction from that, when that alignment of complexity occurs, and this is kind of obvious, when that when that complexity occurs in a more complicated system. So here's what I mean. So say you have two <clears throat> two balls, all right? No, I mean, not what you're thinking. Two, whatever, baseballs or two bowling balls or two it's spheres. It doesn't matter what, what kind of, two spheres. And they're circling. Uh, they're like orbiting, whatever, some kind of center point. The center point doesn't really exist, but they're orbiting or whatever. So when they get in a straight line, which I guess technically they always are in a straight line, and that's what I'm kind of what I'm trying to say, um, is that there's not enough complexity in those two spheres spinning to be anything brilliant. But when you add, just I guess like where this is going, you can look at our um, look at our solar system or look at uh, whatever it is. You know the eclipse happens when it's like the um, is it the moon gets in front of the sun and that's only that's only three things lining up and we think it's really cool and it only happens you know every x amount of years i don't know i'm not going to google search it i really don't care but the point is the more complicated the more complicated a system gets the more brilliant these like anomalic events seem and the thing about the social spectrum with this this the social setting sorry not spectrum social setting with this is in these complicated social settings when this anomalic whatever congruency occurs within the system itself without you involved and then you add a player, not a player like, I'm, I'm a player, I'm going to pick up some girls. But like you add player one, you add a character to that environment. And the, com the complicated eclipse occurs in the social environment. And then you add a player that can actually navigate that environment brilliantly. Like there's an, an eclipse happening within their head in that system and they can maneuver that anomalic event perfectly and that fucking creates brilliance and um i don't even know where this is going <laughs> this is so insane uh it's poetry basically it's all it is coffee talk poetry it's not i don't even like to even say this is philosophy but um that's what it's a beautiful thing basically and I feel like, sure, this is kind of an egocentric thing, but when ever since I was a kid, you know, people play video games, whatever. It's it's kind of a waste of time, but I was always really interested. I'm not necessarily saying I'm a brilliant person because of this, but I appreciated a certain level of complexity in things. So whenever when I was a kid, I really liked when the, I think this was actually just starting out too. When I was, I saw it like happen. In video games, when they introduced like physics, in in video games like ragdoll physics with the characters when they get shot, or like physics in the environment, you like you like hit a table and the table will actually flip over, like you know, using an actual physics engine as opposed to like a preset animation. I always found that so awesome because it's not it's not just one solid 
in one solid state, that character or that object can move whatever, X amount of ways. It's a ridiculous amount of ways. But also the sequence of events, it's almost infinite. And that actually would get me to come back to something is just playing with like physics, I guess, in games and like in that environment. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm like a brilliant scientist, but I always appreciated the complexity. So kind of cool for that. Maybe. Maybe you don't think so. But And then I wanted to talk about, it, speaking of social situations, like I was talking about before, Oh, this is good. I like how, um, well, there's so many people, I feel like, on on this planet that they're, like, they're just not, it's so cliche to say, like, they're, like, energy-sucking vampires, almost. But there's so many people that got so acclimated to this unhealthy system and this, like, way of thinking that it's it's almost like two different worlds. It's, like, above ground and underground, and I feel like I feel like a lot of the legitimate people, a lot of the genuine people are more like they just get they just they're like, nah, I'm not even I'm not even trying. I'll be at the library, I'll be in my, my house on the weekend. Like I feel like the more genuine people are kinda in hiding on this on this in this uh, society now. And um everyone thinks It's kind of like this. It's like when... You know how people are with their their friends or their cliques of people. Their social circles. They always... They always act like they're... Like little band of people. Their tribe is somehow special. Or somehow like different and better and unique than the other. Like they can't trust the other like cliques. When in reality... All of these clicks, they're just usually... I mean, there obviously are better and worse clicks. Like, I, I, I'm not about to claim that they're all completely equal. I mean, there's clicks of friends that, like, their idea is, like, on the weekend, oh, let's go steal a TV and then do, do some, like, whatever, hard drugs or something. I mean, yeah, like, they're, like, whatever. They're murdering someone. It's bad. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't know if a gang is, like, friends or not, you know, like, a, but whatever. I mean, there's people who have more safe and um, not harming others activities, you know. But any kind of, like, normal, just just middle of the bell curve group of friends, this is where people get real territorial. Let's just say, let's only talk about that. Let's only talk about the average group of friends. Or click of you know social people. Let's all meet up for the dinner party or whatever it is. I don't know. I've never been to a dinner party, but there's only these whatever it is. I forget what it is. Like eight or like sixteen or something personality types. Generally, it's kind of like people. And the more every year I'm here on on this planet, I feel like I meet basically the same people over and over again. And it's like. I kind of know right away if I'm going to like somebody. I, I think a lot of people have that intuition. I'm not saying I'm special because of that. But, like, I kind of know, like, these subtypes of people and their personalities, I can kind of tell, like, yeah, I'm going to like this person. This person's, like, a semi-introspective person, and they're kind of mindful or whatever. And, like, there's, like, the happy-go-lucky, like, person, whatever. You know, they're just kind of, like, goofy. And, like, I usually like that guy. And it's just like, all right, he's cool, like, whatever. But, um... I don't know. There's, there's, there's the other. There's the sinister part. You know. There's uh There's people who. They're almost like drawn, to these egocentric vampires, and I think a lot of people, no matter the subtype, of personality you are, gets kind of wrapped up in that world because it's like it's right now. It's currently. Like, 90% of the world. And they're not religious, but the whole thing was like, you know, the, the devil's greatest trick was, like, letting you know... Or, sorry, the devil's greatest magical trick or whatever it is is making you think the devil doesn't exist. And I'm not religious, but it kind of applies to society. And it's like, this group, the way, like, society's becoming corrupted 
is like right under your nose and it's it's just subtle things like they want you to care about things that you shouldn't care about they want you to be a consumer they want you to consume everything you know like buy this you need the new one consume my thoughts consume my jokes don't create and then if you see someone who's a creator an artist dude suck them dry bleed them dry most people don't really put themselves out there and that's kind of the whole thing with like all this this new like this rampant ADHD and anxiety and depression People don't put themselves out there. They want to, but they're so... I'm not saying it's their fault because they're, they're so acclimated. They're so... They grew up in the system that cares about the wrong things. That says, don't really express yourself. Don't be who you are. Just be a consumer. And just do what the, the, the horde is doing. The, the fucking herd. The herd. <laughs> not the horde. Either way, though, it works. But the thing about the herd is... They're all moving one direction, but even the guy in front or the lady in front is only moving that way because everyone else is moving that way. If they fucking stop, they think they're going to get trampled. It's just mindlessly moving. It's, It's like an amoeba. There's no actual thought to it. See, when you take the individual, they have individual thoughts. But when you put somebody, and you notice this a lot, people, like how people change in groups. Like you can notice it with anybody. You can notice it even putting somebody in a situation with one person, putting them in a situation with another person. They're a slightly different person. You can't claim that you're not. You always are. But the thing is, yeah, you got to admire the, when people have consistency. That's really good. But um, you're always a little different. But when you get put in like a mass in this like let's follow the trend kind of thing totally lose yourself and some people are so far gone that that's all they have to cling to these lizard people man put on your best human face and then act like the real human beings are doing something wrong because they want to sap your energy I don't know what I'm talking about. I was like, blah, 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 bullshit, last five minutes. Uh, So I was talking about complexity. um, All that, just scratch everything I just said. Probably should just edit it out. Don't worry about that. Just ignore the last eight minutes of this video. So, um, no, but there is a certain, and that's kind of like uh, with the complexity thing, rewind eight minutes or whatever. um, That's kind of like the whole, like, big fish in a small pond type of deal thing too so it's kind of like people it's t- like a game like uh whatever connect four tic-tac-toe something really simple um it's not really like n- no one's really impressed by someone playing it efficiently but when you can navigate a very complex system and like those stars align in that complicated system. Not sorry, not the stars align, but when you can navigate a complicated system and do it do it as efficient as possible, it is in a way admirable. And I know in like a earlier video, when you let when you let yourself just expand to the outer reaches of this uh, whatever it is hypothetical system, whatever whatever system it might it might be. You do, in a way, lose yourself. Just like the way you lose yourself in a group or a herd. And you become the system itself. You take on that shape. But the trick is, you gotta be, like, malleable, you know? You gotta let, like... (laughs) Oh, man. I don't know what where this is going. You gotta be like water. It's kind of like what the eastern people thought or like i mean maybe it was bruce lee or something i don't know but you got to be like malleable you got to let things move through you you can't take form you can't take the shape of a system and then become solid and impassable because then you shove everything out it's almost like when you enter a room you want to make a presence you want to be somewhere new you're meeting people you're going somewhere 
you enter a room and you should feel like you're filling that room, but you're not suffocating people. And that's weird to say water, because water, you know, you would suffocate, but or you would drown or whatever. And I think drowning is suffocating. But um it is, I believe. I mean suffocate isn't like you don't want to shove those people out of the position that they're in and that they're comfortable with. Because then there's going to be that whole equal opposite. There's going to be pushback. But if you're water, if you're malleable, if you're liquid, and if you take that environment and you expand to the outer reaches of that complicated system, you're not going to cause any friction with anybody in it. But you're going to be part of it. You're going to be the system itself. And it's just like... If you focus on expanding in that system with positive vibrations, then it can only be good because then you're what? What is the word? Um, kind of like that cerebral, cort, cerebral fluid around your brain. You are like healing these people, but it's like it takes so much. I guess energy unless you're so used to doing that and that's I admire those people that can walk in a room and just be comfortable and make everyone comfortable with them and um, see people don't care about that kind of stuff they care about the new iPhone they don't care about talking they don't care about whatever it is it's just like what is there other than communication even in sports in games in in, in uh figuring out something new technology it's just like it's all about communication you have to communicate to the other scientist you have to communicate to the other player what you're going to do where you're going to throw the ball you got to communicate uh, whatever they're working on at apple they got to communicate all the uh, technology whizzes over there amongst each other to figure out what they're doing and then they also have to communicate that into a computer and through a physical medium and then actually create like the shell and create the internals of the new device or whatever it is. Everything, everything you do, pen on a page, it's all about being able to express yourself. And instead of people cultivating the ways to express themselves and the way to output, people cultivate ways how to grow claws, grow sharp teeth, and consume each other. And that's... Uh, not very good, in my opinion. And um, brain dead. I don't. I don't know what else to say. So yeah, you gotta be liquid. You know, you gotta be liquid. Everyone knows that. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Everybody knows it. You can read it anywhere from any of those ancient dusty books. You gotta get educated, man. You know, you gotta be liquid. You gotta be a puddle goes in the sewer, you gotta chill out in the gutter for a while, and then uh, evaporate, become a little cloud, cloudy poo, and then lightning strikes someone's mind with your fucking wisdom after you meditated for 60,000 years on the top of a tree or whatever, in the bottom of a tree, under a tree, in the shade. So, yeah. <laughs>